Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Redstone video. And oh my god, the alien menace is after us! We have to fire our laser beams to neutralize the threat. Oh, oh, he hit my hole, you freaking Django. Welcome to Space Invaders in vanilla Minecraft. This is a 1.8 edition using Redstone magic to your Minecraft world. This is a map courtesy of Red Knobs. If you want to check out his channel, it will be linked in the description below as well as a download for this world so that you can play it with your friends. And I'm literally about to die already. The hit detection is not favoring me this game. There is a live system, a scoreboard system, as well as breaking barriers and firing bullets that the aliens will fire against you to take out you. You have to drive your redstone block ship. It is, it's, it's the ultimate advanced technology of redstone blocks. It fires lasers and it neutralizes invisible spiders and endermen. This is a faithful port of the Space Invaders arcade game from the 1980s that your parents and or grandparents probably really freaking love because they're so dang old. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this redstone creation. If you do and you want to see more on the channel, make sure you drop a like on the video. I'd love to see 500 likes for this redstone video. Now, that being said, I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. I'm pretty sure- Oh my gosh, they're almost to me. If one of them hits me with their freaking uh, their green slime ball attack of doom, I will die and I will lose. We gotta take a- Oh, see? Oh, he hit me! Out of lives. It's game over for me, folks. I- I don't even know what to say. But the whole premise of the game is you have to eliminate the alien force, which starts at the top of the little TV screen we have here. And uh, you have to kill them all before they reach the bottom or before you run out of lives. If you run out of lives or they reach the bottom, it's basically game over. Now, there's a <laughs> weird mouse movements. <laughs> now, there's a few different things that you have to set up before you can actually uh, play the game, which we're going to cover right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we've moved the map over to the fresh installed map that you will get when you download this map. It comes with a few extra signs and doohickeys kind of explaining all the steps you need to take before you can actually play the game. Don't worry, it's not that many, it's really not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to be outlining them myself right now so that the process is even simpler for you. So go ahead and just break these because you're cool like that. And you don't need signs on your chair, the chair's got to be, it's a real nice chair, you know? You got to be comfortable if you're playing Space Invaders, but first things first. Press this button. This is going to set a series of scoreboards that need to be added to your world, especially if you do this on a server. Got to press that button if you load it up on a server. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. I'm not going to really explain what they do. All you need to know is you got to press the button. Again, we're keeping this real simple. Second thing, time to break into the TV and start fiddling with the circuits. This is all the redstone that Red Nobster has put together that makes this machine, this behemoth of a game, actually work properly and there's a couple steps you need to do again they're gonna be very simple so don't worry about it that you need to take before you do anything so there are two command blocks that are both signal signified with a prismarine block right next to them it's gonna be this command block right here and it's going to be this command block right here so hold down your control key I've got Optifine so it's gonna zoom in and look crazy but hold down your control key and then middle click this command block do not left click it otherwise you're gonna break it what middle clicking it does is it copies the command block as well as the command which is the plus MBT you see there just place it somewhere temporarily break this block now and then just click that one on this will reset the fill clock command which makes sure that the whole contraption is going to be working properly and then simply reset the command block that you just control copied there a second ago now do the very same thing for this guy hold control middle click and that will give you the new command just in case though I'm gonna to switch to an empty slot hold control middle click do the same thing break it or place it somewhere temporarily reset that clock all you gotta do is break the rest and reset it and then place that sucker back and now you're ready. You are now ready to take on the alien threats. So we'll go ahead and patch this up because it, it really is a nice TV. Just like the chair. I feel like I'm back in the 80s, man. Now over here is where those barriers were. You can see you can actually add as many barriers as you want. It's kind of like a built-in difficulty determiner, right? So uh, we'll just leave these here for now. We'll break the sign. These are barriers. And the cool thing about the barriers is it's stone bricks. And if the slime balls, which is what those things are that the aliens were shooting at me, hit these, it will turn into a cracked stone brick. And once it turns into a cracked stone brick and gets hit again, it will just turn into the wool, which will no longer protect you from incoming firing. Now, we can go and delete these real quick, because, uh, cause yeah. <laughs> now, in here are some, some uh, disks. Now, this kind of glitched in the world download. It's supposed to be a bunch of different disks, but you're in creative mode anyways. So if you really want to play music, 
um, wherever those are found. You can you can just do that yourself by uh, placing it in the jukebox right here. I prefer not to. I'm more of a add my own dang music to the video kind of guy. Now this is the button, and you need this button. This is basically your button to fire off lasers from your redstone ship. Now to start the game is simple enough. Simply press prep game. So now you've got your ship, and it is controlled by where you are looking. You see, it's, it's pretty sweet. And then you press add and adjust enemies. Now what this is, is an enemy adder. Oh my gosh, the weather just turned to stormy in my Minecraft world. It's also raining outside in real life, but that's just a snapple fact that you didn't need to know. Now this adds the space invaders, which is literally just endermen, uh, spiders, and cave spiders, all with invisibility so you can't see the rest of their body. But the cool thing about those mobs in this game is you can see their eyes because they glow even when they're invisible. So that kind of acts as the aliens. And uh, we'll go into further detail about what is really going on here in just a little bit. But there's actually a brightness control as well, just in case this is a little too dim for you. So if you press the same button again, you notice they get a little bit brighter, right? And let me try and, if you press the button again, they get even brighter once more. I actually have no idea how he does that, but I'm not gonna question it. Now from here, you're set up, you've got your three lives on the side here. If you get hit by the slime balls three times, you are out of lives. It's kind of like a shield and then the ship and then you know one more life or what have you. And then from there, you click start game and then you click the one below it. You click them in that order. And then suddenly, you switch to your button just like such and you've got slime balls being fired at you and you fire your own weapons as well. Now upon hitting them with the laser, it will in fact take out each mob, or in this case, Space Invader, individually. Now the object, as I said, is to kill the alien menace, the scum, before they hit the edge of the wall, because every time they hit the edge of the wall, they move down one step. So, a nice little strategy for you is to take out the side guys first. Dang it, it won't go through the wall. I kind of shot myself in the foot there. <laughs> so take the guys out on the side first, because every time they hit the side, you see, they shift down like that, and the moment they hit the bottom, is when you lose and it is game over. You even have a little skill, a little kill, skill board, scoreboard, whatever, I'm losing my mind here, on the side there to track and uh, determine you know, how good you are compared to your friend should you decide to play with some. I myself personally have no friends, so I'm playing on my own. And you see, if you get hit with a slime ball, your lives will actually go down. You can look in the corner there. See, I got hit again, and I got hit one more time. It's kind of finicky. If you're close to the slime ball, it won't work. And uh, it really just says game over, you can obviously still play, but if you're playing with other friends, then from there, you simply want to click end game. You gotta press these in this order as well. This one first, then this one, and then this one. And this will reset the entire, I guess, TV screen in this case entirely, and it will allow you to set yourself up for a new game. But we are going to prep a game and add and adjust enemies, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what exactly is going on here. If we go into game mode three, you'll see the inner workings of what's going on here. Of course it's armor stands. Everything 1.8 seems to be armor stands these days. It's all armor stands being controlled. And in this case, we've got some invisible mobs here being constantly rotated upside down. If you're wondering how the spiders are turned upside down, when you name a mob dinner bone, it turns them upside down like that. So that's what's going on with these. Um, it wasn't done for the Enderman because the Enderman would make the eye shift down an absurd amount. Um, however, the rest of it is just armor stands being moved slightly. You can see the redstone block here is actually being worn on a, a little tiny armor stand's head and being shifted slightly left and right here. And you'll see when we fire off ourselves, what the heck is, what's, what is all this stuff? Close menu, I'll do it. I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, so you can see, do I have a stone? I do have a stone on me. All right now, all right now. I wanna, oh, you know what I probably gotta do is here. We'll go to game mode one real quick and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll fire off a couple shots, right? We'll fire off a shot, right? Okay, and then we'll switch to game mode three and you'll see exactly what's going on here. It's armor stands carrying, it was carrying up the freaking blaze rod. We'll try it, we'll try it right here and we'll shoot another one right there. And you can see it's just armor stands going crazy. And once the hit detection detects that it's hit a mob, it causes the mob to disappear. Same with the, the rest of what's going on here. In fact, we'll go back to adventure mode and start the game, and you'll see exactly what's going on there as well. So you can see there's armor stands carrying the uh, slime balls down to the doom, down to their doom. And the moment they hit one of these berries as well, as I said, it will turn it into a crackstone brick, and then it will just see, watch. Check it out, check it out, check me out. I'm great. You see it? turns into a crack stone brick, and this one should probably break upon, yep. So, it is a lot of craziness going on, and you've got your lives over here, of course. Come on, get hit. Get wrecked. Ah, oh, I missed it just barely, but you'll see the lives disappear as well. Just like that. So, 
all done in vanilla 1.8, all done with amazing command block magic, and all done by Red Nomster. So once again, check out his channel in the description if you want to see more. Also, if you want to see more on my channel, make sure you drop a like for these amazing redstone contraptions. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, World Down is in the description. Give it a shot, play with your friends, let me know what you think. And of course, we will catch you for the next video. See ya!